One of the most frequent asked questions that we get is how do I clean my bridges? So I'm here to show you the exact instructions that we give to our patients on the daily. I'm gonna start from immediately after surgery to the moment that you get your final teeth. Immediately after surgery, you wanna give yourself about three days to really rest. In our office, we do like to recommend Stella Life products. It does come with a gel, a rinse, and spray. Uh, you do wanna use that for three days along with warm salt water rinses. Remember, no swishing and no spitting because that's pressure inside the mouth. You wanna use those products throughout your day, making sure that you're keeping everything clean, making sure that there is no debris left behind after every meal, making sure that you're staying on top of all of that. After about three days, you wanna start brushing very gently with a baby toothbrush, no toothpaste. You wanna create a paste using baking soda and water while you have your temporaries. The reason for that, toothpaste is very abrasive. You're gonna start to scratch your temporaries and you're gonna notice those scuff marks. When you receive your finals, that same day, you will be able to go back to using normal toothpaste. Now, there is a technique to how you are going to brush. The first few days, possibly even the first few weeks, you will only be using a baby toothbrush because an adult toothbrush is a little too rough on your gums that have been freshly worked on. So make sure that you're only using a baby toothbrush in the beginning while you are healing. The way we're gonna do that is like this. So when we are brushing, you want to remember that this prosthesis is an entire bridge for the most part. It has teeth and it has fake gums. All this clear portion that you see up here in your mouth will obviously be your natural gums. So you always wanna keep that in mind when you're brushing because when we brush, you want to make sure that this junction between the end of your bridge or your prosthesis and the beginning of your gums gets thoroughly cleaned. And the way we're going to do that is with our brush. Using a baby toothbrush in the beginning, you want to get these bristles directly underneath the bridge. And the way we're going to do that is by adding pressure. Okay, so we bring our toothbrush right up to that junction. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press in, making sure that those bristles, again, go underneath the bridge. Once we're seated here, we're not gonna go side to side. We're not gonna go up and down. We're gonna go in circles, okay? So once we're here, small circles, small circles, as we move our way to the other side, making sure that at all times, we keep those bristles underneath the bridge. I do not want you to do this, come out, this, come out, this, come out. No, we glide keeping those bristles underneath the bridge as much as you can. Work your way to the other side in circles. Once we reach the other side, we wrap around and we clean the inside. Now, obviously on the inside, you can't see anything, but you could definitely feel. So if this was me, I make it to the other side, I turn my toothbrush, and then doing the same maneuver in circles, I clean the inside and I work my way over to the other side. Once I'm done cleaning this junction, then I come back and I clean the rest of the, the teeth. You still wanna clean everything. So I come back and I clean all of the front in circles. I clean the chewing surfaces on my teeth, chewing surfaces, and I clean the inside. 
The entire prosthesis needs to be clean. I do not want you to just focus on the teeth and I do not want you to just focus on the junction. Every single part of these instructions are very, very important. We clean every single part. This is for the top. If we're working on the bottom, same exact thing. We start on one side, bring those bristles underneath, underneath the bridge, and again, doing the same thing in circles. Once we're done cleaning that junction, come back and you clean the rest of the prosthesis. You clean the chewing surfaces, you clean the outside, and you clean the inside. Once we're done with that, our brushing is completely done. You wanna keep in mind your brushing should last two whole minutes on the top and two whole minutes on the bottom. Make sure that you don't see any plaque, that you don't see any debris. If there's food stuck anywhere, if there's any plaque, go right back to your toothbrush. Do not advance to your water pick, no matter how long you're into your brushing, without this being very, very clean. Once we're done with that, we follow up everything with our water pick. So for the water pick, feel free to get any water pick over the counter, so long as it has actual settings. You do not wanna get a water pick that just has a low, medium, and high, or a low and high, because there's nothing in between. You wanna make sure that you get one with settings so that you can work your way up into one of those higher settings. This particular water pick is one of our favorites. It is called the Ion, not only because of one specific tip that it comes with, but the water pick in general, very, very good. So for your water pick, you wanna make sure that you're using two tips. Most water picks come with about five or seven tips. Ignore them. The only two that you're going to be using is your standard tip and your hook tip. Make sure that you have both of these tips. You're gonna start off with the top using your standard tip. You start on one side and you work your way to the other side very, very gently. With your water pick, you're only cleaning off that junction that we spoke of earlier. Only that junction. Because if you have anything left or lingering on the rest of your prosthesis, you get that with your toothbrush. The water pick is meant as a flosser. You are going to literally floss, water floss, everything directly underneath the bridge that you're unable to see and unable to reach. Using your standard tip, start on one side, and then we're just gonna go back and forth. Back and forth as we advance to the other side. You wanna do this two times. You make it to the other side and then you come right back. Come right back, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Once you reach this side, you do the same thing to the inside. Same thing with your toothbrush. Although you cannot see, you can feel. If I am water picking somewhere right here, you're not gonna feel that. Your gums aren't either, and your gums are not gonna be clean. So you wanna make sure that you're really at that junction when you're on the inside. Start on one side, and again, move your way to the other side, and then come right back to your starting position. For the lower, we are going to be using both tips that I mentioned. On the outside, we're gonna be using our standard tip. Again, start on one side. Once you make it here, you come right back. For the inside, that is where the other tip comes into play. And the reason is, if I wanna get a thorough cleaning of the inside, specifically up in the front, let me show you. In order for me to clean this, this standard tip, I have to position it like this. And if I'm doing this in your mouth, I am in your throat. So we're going to get our hook tip. Our hook tip hooks on here, and now I'm outside of your mouth, 
and I'm properly cleaning the inside. That's why on the bottom, we use both tips. The standard goes on the outside. Once you're done with this, you switch your tip, you get your curved, and then you clean the inside. Same thing, two times around. And then once we're done with that, we are completely done. A few tips and tricks or a few recommendations. Directly after surgery, like I said, for about three days, I do not want you to brush. I do not want you to water pick. I don't want you to do pretty much anything other than using uh, mouthwashes like the Stella Life that I mentioned earlier, um, and even warm salt water rinses. To clean underneath the prosthesis though, you can get these syringes on Amazon. They're just, they're called Monojet syringes. What you do, fill it up with some water, with some warm salt water, and all you're gonna do, pretend as, it's, as if it's your water pick. Come right here, and then you're just gonna squeeze, 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 making sure that you're cleaning everything very thoroughly. I do not want you to ah, go fast. Do not do that because you're just freshly out of surgery. Go very gentle, very gentle, but making sure that the product is being released underneath the bridge. After about a week or so, or whenever your doctor recommends, you wanna start using your water pick as I just instructed you. I love receiving feedback from my patients. I love receiving tips and tricks from them. Therefore, I have two amazing gadgets that I would definitely recommend to anybody. The first one being this angled toothbrush from the brand Teepee, not sponsored, but maybe one day. Angled toothbrush, you can get this on Amazon. It was about $8. The way you're gonna use this, specifically on the bottom, but really anywhere, you just position it right there. You're already at that junction. There is no need to bend your wrist. There is no need to give yourself carpal tunnel. There is no need for anything else other than a proper clean. The second gadget that we absolutely love, and I mostly recommend it to my patients that are on the go, construction workers, patients that are in the medical field, et cetera, et cetera, are these watercolor pens. This entire pack that you see right here, I got it off of Amazon for $10. Very cheap, very inexpensive, and very great. Um, the reason I got this entire pack is because I wanna show you that there's many different tips out there. This, you will not find it in the dental section. You're actually going to find it in the arts and craft section. Again, the reason I got it is because they're literally watercolor pens. As you can see with any paintbrush, there's many tips out there. There's many different options. And I want you to see that you do have options if you decide to get something like this for your everyday life. All you're going to do, I already have one pre-filled. You get your watercolor pen, you open it up, and you fill this up with mouthwash, with water, with warm salt water, whatever you want. Seal it back up. And then while you're on the go, you get your paintbrush and you put it directly underneath as if you're brushing. Squeeze out some of that material and then you just kind of brush on the go. Brush, brush, brush. Freshen yourself up. Clean, 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 clean. Now this is not meant to replace a water pick. This is not meant to replace your brushing. This is just kind of an on the go option. Same thing if you were to use a smaller tip. You have options. You see whichever fits for you, whichever one you're more comfortable with, and you go with that one. Brands do not matter. Do not get anything expensive. Do not get anything that's gonna hurt your wallet because they're all going to do the same exact thing and they're gonna last you a very long time.